He's coming back. You've seen his Instagram post uh, by now. LFG, it's back to Tampa. We've, we're back with Teddy Johnson and Greg Bedard. Ted, what's your reaction and what's your take on this? Well, my action, my take, my feeling is, you know, what was what happened? So what happened? Was there uh, were there, was there real issues back there? And they just saw what what happened. You know, at the end of the season to now to maybe all of a sudden they can uh, they figured out. Or was it just uh, miscommunication, Michael? Was there – they just weren't talking to each other, and maybe they just needed to get in front of each other. And I believe Tom was over, over in the pond, right? You know, Manchester U is owned by the owner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm guessing the owner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is watching his team over there in Man Manchester U. They got together in the same room. They talked finally. And they – whatever their differences was, they figured it out. And it's no surprise that Tom's over there seeing – probably uh, running into uh, Mr. Glazier and then puts out on Twitter that he's coming back to the NFL. So, to me, it was probably uh, just a huge miscommunication is how this happened and how it's been resolved now, Greg. Yeah, I mean, I, my question is – what made him retire in the first place? He wanted out. Don't you yes. think he wanted I mean, that's what it has to be. Yeah, he wanted out of Tampa. So did he like, tell them that? Did he go to the owner? Did he yes. say, I want out? And yes. they said, no, we're yes. not putting you out? That, I, mean, I mean, that's my guess. So it was a power uh, play. Greg's talked about this many times. It's what Brett Favre did to the Packers. He said he was going to retire. He retired. Then the Packers spent all their money, moved forward at quarterback with Aaron Rodgers, and then Favre came back late in the offseason and said, oh, I'm back. And now the Packers had spent all their money. They had Rodgers. They're like, no, we're not going to bring you back. So they had to trade him. And I think if Brady wanted to play that long game, he would have had, he, he just couldn't hold his water. He wanted out. He didn't want to retire from football, Ted. He wanted out of Tampa. I, I think he okay. went there. I think he And Tampa to, called his bluff. I think he went to Manchester United to make a last plea to the Glazers to say, look, I want out. Like, if you're sticking by Bruce and this is what you're doing, I want to go do something else. And the Glazers called his bluff. They said, nope. If you're playing anywhere next year, it's here. So tough noogies, baby. And, and, you're and, under center. And also, you guys, I mean, if Tom's looking at the rest of the, the landscape around the NFL, okay, so what are the options for Tom? And if the options don't look good, maybe San Francisco isn't really an option. Maybe, you know, Miami isn't really an option. Uh, maybe other teams that we were previously, before all these, the quarterback shuffle, were options, are now not options. And then maybe Tom's like, you know what? I don't know. The NFC, have you seen the quarterback play on that side? Well, it's not that good compared to the AFC. Let's go. My guess is it never got to that point because Tampa was not going to release him out of his contract. You heard it at the combine yeah. from both Bruce Arians, who was, you know, sort of cocky about it. Five first round picks. We're not going to let him go. That's bad business. You know, Arians just came out and said it where their GM, Jason Light, was a little more diplomatic about the thing. We'll leave a light on for him. You have to with the player like good cop, bad cop. But they were both saying the same thing, Greg. We're not letting him go. And I think even if Brady wanted to go San Fran or Miami, he wasn't going to be allowed to. But I'm just wondering if he wanted to, if he wanted to be you know, cut free and let loose, basically, essentially afraid, afraid to go where he wanted. I would be a little bit worried if I were him because when he did that two years ago, there was only one team, 1-1-1, one, 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 no. one team that wanted him, Tampa Bay. And, and you know, if Tom maybe was like, you know what, I might not be in demand. I'm two years older. Uh, I might not have the demand that maybe okay. I want. 